I am reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> Nomax sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. No, that was, uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Let me guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Who? The man's gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. So? He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's go bring the hammer down on that so-called Commander-in-Chief. My missing boxing glove! It's always in the last place you look. Any golf balls? Nope. At least the president has his priorities straight. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. Jimmy? Oh, great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacation at the White House, and I need a little R&R. &R. Speaking of which, beat it! There is a small mailbox here. Uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. That's government efficiency for you. Hmm, white paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max, later. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy, can we, Sam, please? We'll see, little buddy. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. Suspect yourself. That's so Madonna. Nice stool. It looks a little like a weird space creature, poised to devour the unwary mortal foolish enough to sit on it. I like that in a stool. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam! Did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. Valley parking, $2.00. Way to knock down that deficit. Whee! Whee! 
Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and der rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise over. Super Bowl? Yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, sir. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part. Keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. They have you guys doing odd jobs too? Cut back, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. What else do you do besides guard this door? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work. Did you call yourself Superball? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the President. Oh! Superball! I get it! I want to talk to your manager. No can do, sir. He's with the President. Let us in, pal. We're freelance police. Here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Seriously, Jack. Let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm. It's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed to listen to casual asides. It's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! Finest security force in the world, sir. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting Zone 4 now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. But these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. I'll drive! Not while I'm alive. Exactly! Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? Apparently, there's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. Romance is a lot like this cactus. Sharp and prickly at first, but worth the effort for the miracle of life at its core. I was thinking more fake and unappealing, but your answer's good too. It's unnerving how his eyes seem to follow me wherever I go. That fox is totally checking you out. Go for it, Sam! Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three in Asparagus Rampage. Mad Chef Killer Cools Heels in Stir. Giant Plush Toy is Suspected in Conspiracy. Poughkeepsie Man Slays Three in Asparagus Rampage. That's where I do video intros for my dating service. Why's the door locked? It's locked? Damn it. 
I don't even have the key to that door. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. it. Seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken! It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn-on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. <laughs> All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. What are you... Uh Could you find dates for Max and me? Seriously? I mean... Sure, why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have, somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy, just submit an application. What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual, your best traits, and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands, hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. She should be tall. At least 12 feet, or 4 meters if she's Canadian. She should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of the office. I'm very spiritual. A disciple of the Ancient Ones, enacting dark magic rituals to bring forth their reign again upon this earth. Rise, Shigarath! Rise, Abyak Salam! I lead an active lifestyle. Always running from the authorities. I can appreciate a person's inner beauty. I even have my own sonogram machine. 